tied for 129. <laughs> All right, let's like yeah. we're getting into it. <laughs> Dibs going with his signature Garchomp. So Salty going with the reason. So Salty definitely is improving a lot from when he first came out to our weeklies. For sure, the, the first few weeks he, he went to, he was 0-2 almost every time. And yeah. Coming back last week, almost winning the weekly was a huge improvement. Yeah, last week he, he ended up winning over uh, Dibs. Winning over Dibs? Uh, I believe Dibs 2 owed him. I believe that was one of those. Yeah. Okay. So Salty had wins over me and. Ooh, really good read on the jump. I feel like if so Salty can just keep Dibs outside of the range, he should be fine. Santum will catch people that are here, but I think it's not, yeah. It could have been because of the attack. Uh, the Santum might have been covering up the red attack guard animation that happens when people try to grab cards, grab attacks. So Salty definitely has himself in a really good position here. Uh, he's, he's doing a really good job and keeping Dibs out. He's doing a really good job of just setting up traps and then we're then Dibs can't get there. Garchomp, Garchomp will cause lots of damage really quickly. Delay is just a little shield button. Okay, he gets him out of space. The jump call may not be the best, but catches him! Oh, oh, oh. just a little too soon! Very nice to there. Yeah, I feel like the most terrifying character in the game is Garchomp when, you, when you're against back the against wall. the shield. Yeah. But there's so many options and so many combos that you can cover.
I actually didn't think the uh, up X was going to reach that high and hit. And not only that, but I didn't think that the, the broom follow up, I thought if it hit him, it was going to pop him up too high for the broom to hit. So far, Sir Salty has done a much better job than last week. So, see if you can keep it up. Garchomp is back. Like, close, close range is usually in for that. Shield animation kind of have a similar startup animation, That's so it kind of threw me off there. Alright, now we're going to round three. <laughs> we will be going to round three. Dibs looks like he's going to be switching up his support. Um, um, to anyone interested, we will be having a monthly in Salt Lake next week. Yeah, uh, uh, along with uh, Smash 4 Monthly, will be taking place on the same day. Doing Pokémon starting at well, I guess we're taking sign ups at 12. So if you're in any of the nearby states and can make it out, go ahead and uh, drop down, and see, see what you got, see if you can handle Utah's best. Not including me. <laughs> I'm terrible. I beat Dibs. <laughs> it doesn't take much at all. You rely on your matchup advantage against me. <laughs> I like how you even admit that. You're like, yeah. All right. Jump Fun in. fact: Dibs picked up Garchomp. <laughs> Dibs, Dibs picked up Garchomp to beat my Shandor. Mario could. Gets the reset. Misses. Oh, be able to jump above and punish the down X from uh, Grayson. I feel like Sir Salty just needs to uh, create some more space. It's getting in on him is really messy for sure, with yeah. him. The entire first round, Sir, Sal Sir Salty did a really good job of keeping him away and setting up fire spins and different, different traps. 
the, the last year I haven't been in a completely different story. Yeah, I feel fire spin for him. Then switching up his support to allow him to be able to deal with those projectiles. Gonna help out. This will upgrade his space. Use his shield to live too early. Oh, gets grabbed. Exactly what she needs, gets him away. Mr. Salty can run towards more towards the center of the stage. But phase changing here is good too because he still has the whole field to play with instead of just a small portion of the circle. That is true. Gonna wanna go for that first. Nope. Nope, got it. Okay. Thank you. 